a domain. Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a free professional email address utilizing your HostGator account and Outlook. Um, I'll give it just a second. All right, and so um, in the back here, when you scroll down, you'll see under mail, you'll see email accounts, right? And you just click on email accounts. Let's do and you want to try to get a strong password if you can there. Um, you can choose what you want the mailbox quota to be if you want them to be limited to 500 megabytes or if you want it unlimited. Um, you can determine that um, because that utilizes your hosting space. Um, and then you basically just click and create the account, right? So you can create. Boom, so now your account is created and you have your email address, your password, so on and so forth. Now, I'm not going to show my information here, um, but basically here you can um, get your server information if you scroll. And you can change your passwords and stuff here as well, as you can see. That's how you're going to be able to access your email. So you can either access it through webmail here, HostGator back office. You can click access webmail to access it there. Or you can do configure email client if you're going to use like Outlook or something like that. And that's what I'm going to show you next um, on how to set that up. Um, for me, I have Outlook for Mac. Hopefully it's going to be similar or at least guide you on however it is that you're setting it up in Outlook. Um, but this is where you're going to get the information that you need for the next screen. Under Tools, Count, and then you will put the description that you want for that account. You'll put the, your full name as you want it to show up in your emails that you send out. You're going to put the email address that you created. Um, then the server information. So the username is going to be that email address that you created. The password is going to be the password that you created. The incoming server is going to be that information that you found from the configure email client. Um, you got, want to go ahead and utilize uh, that incoming server information. Uh, make sure that um, and then if your port is not correct, you want to select override default port so that you can put your correct port in there. And then, of course, you can use more options and advance. So that's it. And you can set up as many different email accounts by adding additional accounts. And now Outlook will be able to uh, manage all of those email addresses for you. So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them right below this video. Um, because if you have a question, that means somebody else probably does as well. Um, and so it helps to just answer it for everybody at once. Hopefully that helped. Go ahead and set yourself up a nice professional email utilizing your current domain name uh, that you can utilize in your business correspondence. Um, leave a message down below if there's any other questions or tips that you guys are looking for, and I'll be glad to share those with you as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.